Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review. And I'm here today to talk to you about who is Gretchen's new mole in the wilds if they get picked up for our season three. Now at the end of the finale of season two, Gretchen informed her people that she has an inside person or persons and stuff that's gonna keep an eye on them and monitor them with a new experiment because they can no longer do it because it's not safe for them because Leah ratted them out. And so we know Seth is one of the moles still. He's in the facility. Nora is still alive and well, but we don't know if she's still working for Gretchen. And we don't even know what her story is because they just showed her looking sad in season two. So she recruited one of the guys or one of the girls or both and um, in, in either groups. But which ones did she recruit? Well, that is the question right there. And I have some theories. Now, I believe it was a red herring when they um, see she says she has a new recruit and they, the camera went directly to that of Shelby. I don't think it's Shelby. Shelby knows what's going on that they they've been tricked. They well, you know what? It might just be Shelby. Now that I'm thinking about it, okay, let's okay, let's do this. The camera went to Shelby. It might just be Shelby. See, the only thing Shelby wants is to be with a girl now, Tony. She can't do that on the outside world because her parents won't allow it. Her church won't allow it. They're very religious people. And her friend committed suicide when she got caught and found out. So... Lee, not only, but um, Shelby has literally screwed up their chances of getting back when she saw a boat because she didn't want to go back on in the real world. So maybe Gretchen's kind of like, well, hey, you know, you can live out here with Tony all you want and y'all can be together if you be my mole and stuff like that. So, yeah, maybe Shelby is a possible mole and everything. Then there is Scotty. See, Scotty lost his mansion of a house. His he their family's now struggling, living in an apartment, and he's a little grifter online, making as much money and profit as he can for his struggling family. Maybe she bribed him and be all like, "Hey, look, I can get your home back, and your your family can get a good job again if you help me out." Then there is Josh, the one who was sexually assaulted by Seth. He didn't want none of the boys to tell what happened when they get on the outside world. And in fact, that's exactly what they did. They didn't tell nobody. But Gretchen got the information out of him because she bribed him with candy. Now, if she's going to bribe him with candy, then maybe he's the mole. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see who's another potential person. Um, it might be Fatten. Fatten figured out what Nora did. But she doesn't know to the extent. So then, of course, when they got rescued in the first season, it's made it seem like she doesn't know. But she knows because she told Shelby and Shelby told Leah. But Fatten told Shelby when she found this out, let's not tell none of the other girls. Because she don't want to freak them out. What if somehow they bribed her and everything, you know? Um, cause she was very selfish in the first season and she doesn't like the idea of really living out in the wild, but she also doesn't want to go back home because she wanted to run away from home because of the stuff that happened between her father and stuff. She could be a potential candidate in everything. Um, I don't really see none of the other guys going along with it to tell you the truth. And I don't really see none of the other girls going along with it either because, of, you know, because Dot's too, like, well, then again, Dot might be one. Because remember, Dot is the only person who met Gretchen before and Gretchen is going to help her um, not go into the foster system because she's a teenager. Oh, no, she's an adult now, so she can live on her own. So, you know, it's not Dot because I was going to say, because Gretchen made it so that dot um won't have to go into the system because her father died and everything like that and she was going to help her but now that she's 18 years old it doesn't matter no more so no dot's not a candidate now it might be rachel 
because Rachel just wants her sister back and if she knows her sister is alive and already a mole then she might be a mole plus she only has one hand now as a result of all what happened but no matter what she just wants her sister back and she's even going crazy about it so it could be her and that's really all I can think about as to who might like actually turn and stuff you know then again let's think about Bo we barely know much about Bo the only thing we know about him is that he hates his parents because they're neat freaks and if he messes up anything they'll beat the snot out of him he also has a thing for older women Gretchen is an older woman she could have seduced him and everything so yeah if a season three comes there is indeed a new mole or moles but we don't know who yet Alrighty, well I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.